Welcome to the breathtaking world of Walnut Canyon National Monument. Tucked away in the pine forest near Flagstaff, Arizona, a steep canyon, 20 miles long, 400 feet deep, and a quarter mile wide. This natural wonder invites you on a journey through time and nature. Many years ago, you would have heard different sounds than you hear today. Today, Walnut Canyon serenades with bird songs, a sanctuary for diverse plant and animal life, but it was way different many years ago. The Sinagua people made this place home. As you can imagine, it sounded way different with people, children running around, people carving, and people building houses. This national monument is protecting six miles of the canyon and it beckons thousands of people each year to connect with nature and the echoes of the past. And that's what we're doing today. To get close to the past and the historic structures, we decided to hike the Island Trail. The Island Trail offers a time-traveling adventure into the world of the Sinagua people. It descends 185 feet into the canyon navigating 240 concrete steps, and that's in one direction. And this challenge is well worth it for the historical immersion that awaits you. Now this bench coming up may not be important now, but it will be on your way back up. The imposing walls of bluff sandstone form the inner gorge, revealing the tales of ancient deserts and peoples. Limestone ledges adorned with delicate marine fossils whisper stories of the sea that was here long ago. Shallow alcoves along these ledges once cradled the sturdy homes of a vibrant community, whose echoes still resonate in the canyon's embrace today. But who built these dwellings? Well, we'll get to that part. As you hike on the island trail, which will take you in a loop all the way around, you'll see 25 cliff dwelling rooms, and this gives you a glimpse into the lives of the Sinagua people. Now, once you've reached the bottom of the trail, you used to be able to go right or left, but on the day we went, we were only able to go to the right. We follow directions, so there must've been a reason for it. From here, you'll wander on a relatively level trail. It is punctuated by short sections of stairs that are linked by a gravel path, but it is nothing too difficult. Keep in mind, you're gonna wanna watch your energy levels because you do have that climb all the way back out. As you take this trail, you'll notice that there will be several signs along the trail, giving you information about what you're looking at or the surrounding areas. From 1100 to 1250 AD, the canyon echoed with the rhythm of stone axes, the wisdom of storytellers, and the laughter of children. Masonry walls stand as a testament to the time when people harmonized with the natural world, hunting wild game, cultivating crops, and cherishing the intermittent flow of water that sustained their life here. Now to me, this is the most fascinating part and I can't believe I didn't know this fact until now. Did you know? Women, the architects of the ancient dwellings, were the builders of Walnut Canyon and remarkable sites like Mesa Verde. And honestly, if you think about this, this totally makes sense. If you look at the structure itself, it's only about as high as I am, which is about five foot four. Women are shorter than men. And yes, the men back then were shorter. So how do we know it was made by women? Well, what were men doing back then? They were out hunting and defending. So while the men were hunting and getting the wild game, the women were gatherers, correct? And they also helped with farming, but because they had to keep the homes and raise the children, they also crafted the homes that we marvel at today. The legacy of these incredible architects lives on in the very structures they built and the structures we admire. I can honestly say, wow, I can't believe I didn't know this until now. Did you know that fact? please comment down below and let us know what you think about it. Once you've completed the loop, you have to climb all the way back up all those concrete stairs. And trust me, it is quite a pull. So we are on our way up out of Walnut Canyon and we saw the cliff dwellings, they're pretty neat. But now we get to climb up all the way up all those steps. And so we're taking a break at the first bench here and we'll see how chipper we are by the time we get to the top. But we'll, we will check in with you here in a little bit. Oh. 
Honestly, if you take your time, the stairs aren't that bad and you get amazing views along the way. As you tread the island trail and immerse yourself in the tales of Walnut Canyon and the Sinagua people, remember that nature and history have crafted this sanctuary and your footsteps contribute to its continued protection. We highly recommend visiting this park. You need to explore, learn, and let the echoes of the past guide your journey in this timeless canyon. We recommend that you watch this other video about the Sinagua people. This might be super interesting for you.